Howdy folks, Jake here with JD Music Company and uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit since we're coming into the winter months here we're going to focus on keeping our guitar nice and hydrated so um, kind of our preferred method here is these Diodario Planet Waves humidifiers they're real simple to use and um, if you want to come up here with me I'll show you this is my personal guitar I've noticed it's been getting a little dry lately you know, with uh, central heat and air pushing all that dry air into your room space. So this is one I have out of the package. This is one I actually use here around the workshop. And real simple to use. You have these two tabs on the end. You just squeeze them in like so. That lid pops right off. Then we will remove our sponge. Okay. So what we want to do is take it over to the sink here. And we'll go ahead and get it good and wet. Alright, then we'll just squeeze it, shake it out, you know, where it's not dripping but it's still plenty wet. And we just cram it back in the container there, pop our lid back on, like so. Now, this uh, device has a couple of retention tabs I guess would be the best way to put it and your D and your G string are going to slide around that and pop in under there and that's what locks it in place. You just put it between the middle two strings and they've slid into those tabs and you can see you can't hardly even move it. Now I always leave it in my case for the best result that way the moisture can't escape out of the guitar. So um, what we'll do we'll close the case up and you want to leave it overnight or whatever and uh, check it the next day and if the uh, if the sponge has dried out, we need to you know, wet it again and, and go from there. So we'll uh, walk you through the process here and hopefully uh, you can see how easy these are to use and how important it is. So let's do it. Okay, so we've let this set overnight. So let's open our case up and uh, check our sponge. Now, like I said, when the... Uh, Pull the sponge out of here and it's dry, like this one is, it's dry and chalky. That means the guitar has absorbed all that moisture. And so what we want to do is take it over here to the sink again. Try to walk slowly so we can do all this on film. Do the same thing we did in the first place. Just get it good and wetted, then bring it out. That way it's wet but not necessarily dripping. And we put it back into our little container there. Go back to the guitar. This is just like using shampoo. Rinse, lather, repeat. <laughs> Alright, so we close the case up, let it set overnight again, and we'll come back and check it. Alright, hopefully third time's a charm here, so open our case up, check the condition of our sponge once again. I can tell already that the sponge still has quite a bit of moisture in it. I actually see it getting on my fingers there a little bit maybe. So what that means is that the, the uh, guitar has already absorbed all the uh, moisture that it's going to, which means that it's properly humidified. So as long as you check this every day, now you don't want to over humidify your guitar either, but you know as long as you do this, you know, leave it overnight, check it, and whenever it's still wet the next day, that means your guitar is at a, in a good place. And um, this is real important, especially in dry areas, or maybe even in not so dry areas where in the winter time you have a heating and air that will uh, dry out the air in your house. Um, you can develop all kinds of problems. You know, binding can pull loose, neck angles can get jacked up, the bridge can come off, you can develop top cracks just from not keeping your guitar properly humidified. And this is a, a cheap and easy way to do that. You know, it's obviously very easy to tell when it's to the point where it needs to be. So anyway, hopefully that gives you uh, kind of an uh, indication of how easy these are to use. So uh, do yourself a favor and give us a call and pick one of these up. You'll be glad you did. Uh, this one specifically is for guitar, but they make different types for, you know, uh, mandolins and fiddles and basses and whatnot. Uh, banjo, it's not really as much of an issue because you're, you have mostly metal parts and uh, thick wood and laminate wood. You don't have any real thin wood pieces like you do on other instruments. So, 
But anyway, that's that. So uh, we appreciate you watching and we'll catch you next time.